Hey guys, welcome back to the another Arduino tutorial video and today you're going to learn about servo motors and how to interface them with Arduino. So first of all, what is a servo motor and why do we use them in the first place? Servo motor is basically an assembly of four things, a DC motor, some gears, potentiometer or position sensor and control circuit. And this whole assembly gives us the precise control or rotation of the shaft of the motor. Now suppose you want to make a project where precise motor control is needed and you decided to go with DC motor. Then on operating the DC motor, you will observe some delay during starting and stopping of the motor due to which it's difficult for you to figure out when to power it on and when to power it off. Whereas with servo motors, you can precisely control the rotation or movement of the shaft according to your requirements. So how does a servo motor works or how the combination of DC motor, gears, potentiometer and control circuit gives us the precise control? Let me make this explanation simple for you by explaining this practically. Here is a DC motor, gears are attached to its shaft like this and to one of the gears, rotating knob of the potentiometer is connected. As we know, potentiometer have three terminals, two end terminals and one middle terminal which moves. End terminals of the potentiometer is connected to 5 volt and ground respectively, whereas middle terminal goes to the negative terminal of the op-amp or operational amplifier, whose work is to just compare the voltage difference between its two terminals. If there is 5 volts here and 3 volts here, then output will be 5 minus 3 equals to 2 volt. Simple as that. Now positive terminal of the op-amp is connected to 5 volt and the output terminal to the DC motor, whereas the other terminal of DC motor is grounded. Let's suppose the middle terminal of the potentiometer is here, so that voltage at this point is 0. Then output will be 5 minus 0 equals to 5 volts. This means there is 5 volts across the DC motor. So DC motor will start rotating and so the gears as well as rotating knob. And as soon as the knob rotates, the voltage difference between these two points increases and we get some voltage here. Suppose 3 volts, then the output will be 5 minus 3 equals to 2 volts. So now there is 2 volts across the DC motor and same thing will happen until the middle terminal reaches this point and we get 5 volts here and 0 volts here. That means 0 volt across the DC motor due to which motor will stop. So you saw how the whole assembly is working in a feedback loop. If you want the motor to rotate according to 3 volts, then motor will stop as soon as the difference becomes 3 minus 3 volt equals to 0 volts. Similarly for 2 volts or 1 volt. But in each case, shaft rotates less than the 5 volt case. So this was just to demonstrate to you the principle of servo motors. In actual servo motors, there is a perfect control circuit in place of an op-amp. And instead of giving direct voltage, a PWM signal is given to control the motor. In the example shown above, there was total 3 wires which you could control, positive terminal of op-amp and the end terminals of the potentiometer. Or in other words, positive terminal, ground terminal and control terminal, which is the case of an actual servo motor where we have 3 wires, positive terminal, ground terminal and control terminal. The maximum rotation is limited to 180 degrees. As I've already mentioned, Servo motors are controlled using PWM pulses. The frequency of this PWM signal must be around 50 Hz. And the width of the pulse determines the angular position of servo motor. So if you want angular position to be 180 degrees, then pulse duration must be around 2.5 millisecond. For 90 degrees, 2 millisecond. And for 0 degrees, 0.5 millisecond. Please keep in mind that the voltage required to run servo must be between 4 to 6 volts. Now let's see how to drive servo motor using Arduino. To make these kind of projects more reliable, you can use PCBs instead of breadboard. 
I recommend JLC PCB, the most popular PCB prototype company of China, for all your electronics project. They provide all kind of prototype PCBs as complicated as six layer PCB and as simple as two layer PCB of any color with no extra fee. Ten pieces for just two dollars, and stencils for six dollar per piece. So what are you waiting for? Just upload your Gerber file and you're good to go. Connect the servo motor to Arduino as shown here. Ground pin of servo motor to any ground pin of Arduino. Power pin of servo motor to 5 volt pin of Arduino. And finally, signal pin of servo motor to any digital input output pin. I'm connecting it to 9th digital input output pin. Servo motor can be run using Arduino by using simple digital write commands, which will generate PWM signal on the selected digital output pin. And here is the code for the same. First of all, ninth pin is set as an output pin. Under loop section, ninth pin is set high for 2500 microseconds and low for approximately 17000 microseconds. So what this means is, servo motor will be high for 2500 microseconds and low for 17,500 microseconds. And by adding the two, he will get 20,000 microseconds, which is 20 milliseconds, which is the total time of on-off pulse. And frequency of this pulse is 1 upon 20 equals to 50 hertz. So as I've already mentioned, the frequency of the PWM pulse must be around 50 hertz, which is in this case is equal to 50 hertz. And to rotate motor for 180 degree position, pulse should be high for 2.5 milliseconds, which is this case. So now let's upload this code and see what happens. Now to rotate servo motor to 90 degree position, high pulse should be of 1.5 milliseconds. So let's adjust the values according to our requirement. 1450 and 18550. Now let's upload the code. Similarly, to zero degree position, the high pulse should be of 500 microseconds or 0.5 milliseconds. Upload the code and here the motor is in its zero degree position. Now there's a more convenient way to run servo motor, which is by using servo motor library. Using this library, you can easily run your servo motor by just defining the degree position you want your servo motor to rotate. And by using servo motor library, it's very easy to run more than one servo motor. So now let's try to run a servo motor using this servo library. So first of all, give your motor a name. So here our object name is servo1. Now in white setup, we have to define to which pin our servo motor is connected. In this case, it is connected to 9th pin. So servo1.attach9, that is servo motor is attached to the 9th pin. Now in white loop, we will define to which degree we want our servo motor to rotate or to which degree position our servo motor should be. So there's a simple command to do that, servo1.write and in brackets, the degree to which you want your servo motor to rotate. Like here, servo1.write 0. That means servo motor will go to its 0 degree position. Let's change it to 180 degree and now upload the code. So here, this is 180 degree position of the servo motor. So if you want your servo motor, to any other degree position then just define the degree inside this bracket for example if you want your servo motor to be in 15 degree position then just type 15 here and motor will automatically rotate to 15 degree position now let's try to rotate the motor in each of the three defined degree positions first 0 degree then 90 degree then 180 degree then back to 90 and 0. I want my servo motor to start from 0 degree. So I'll define 0 degree here. Now after 0 degree, I want it to go to 90 degree. So I'll define 90 degree here. After 90 degree, it should go to 180 degree position. So define 180 degree here. Now when it's in 180 degree position, I want it back to 90 degree position. So define 90 degree here. Now since this is a void loop, the command written here will keep on running again and again. That means after 90 degree, servo motor will go to 0 degree position and so on. 
So let's upload this code to Arduino and see what happens. Running more than one servo motor using Arduino and servo motor library is also very easy. All you have to do is just define the pin number on which signal pin of the motors are connected. After that, in while loop, just use the code servo.write as explained earlier to rotate the motors to the required position. Here I'm running two servo motors using one Arduino. You can run as many as you want, but make sure if you're running more than two motors, then don't use Arduino to supply power to the servo motor or don't connect the power pin of servo motors to Arduino. Use a separate 6 volt battery to power it because Arduino cannot provide enough current to more than two motors. So always use separate 6 volt power supply to run your servo motors. So guys, that was all for today. I hope you like this video. Please like, share and subscribe if you haven't done already. And with that being said, see you next time. Bye bye.